The following video is filled with infantile and somewhat insulting content. As such, it should not be viewed by any of the following. Christians, Muslims, Jews, Hindus, Christian scientists, Jehovah's Witnesses, gays, lesbians, heterosexuals, anyone under the age of 18, anyone over the age of 18, men, women, hamsters, the rich, the poor, people who live in a constant state of denial, and anyone who has ever lived or worked on the island nation of Sri Lanka. That being said, if you've never heard the word fuck before, well, you have now. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is the O200 Club. Uh, before we begin, this uh, this video contains spoilers for the festering sack of rat shit that is the new Godzilla movie. So if you don't want to hear the spoilers for this god-awful piece of turd, and you're actually planning on going and seeing it in the cinema, then you need your fucking head examined. So, Justice, guess what I did today? Wait, what? Why am I sat at my computer? Why am I dressed? Why is my headset on? Why are you doing all... Wait, are we recording? Yes, we're recording. Did you dress me and put me at my computer? No. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. So guess what I did today? Um, you touched a goat. No, I didn't touch a goat. Oh, a bit of a letdown? No. What did you do? I went to see the new Godzilla movie. Oh, I heard, it's, I heard it's awesome. Do tell. You heard it's awesome? Well, my friend, I'm afraid you heard wrong. No, 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 I'm pretty sure I heard them say it's awesome. Let me, uh, let me paint a word picture for you. You know a Godzilla movie? Yes. Do you know what that movie should have in it? I will fight with... Uh, missiles. Yeah, a few missiles, but what's the main thing you would expect to see in a Godzilla movie? Asian people. No. Godzilla. Yes, Godzilla. Guess what's not in this Godzilla movie? Um, Godzilla? Godz it's a two hour long movie. Godzilla is in it for a grand total of about, of it's no, no more than 15 minutes. Oh. Uh, um, the, enti the entire movie should be called Army Guy Falling Down. That bad? Because that is what is in this movie. It is an army guy falling down. And that's it. That is pretty much it. Let me take you through it. It starts off in Japan, of all places. Oh, I like Japan. Well, primarily, it starts off actually in the um, in the fi in the fifties with all this uh, scientific footage of uh, you know the nuclear weapons tests in Bikini Atoll that they did in the fifties. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, apparently, all of those were designed to try and kill Godzilla. Oh, that's a bit. Then the movie jumps forward to nineteen ninety nine. Uh huh. And um, Walter White from Breaking Bad is. Does he still have cancer? He doesn't have cancer. Oh, that's good for him. But uh, it's the it's not the obviously the it's not the same character. It's but the, the actor whose name I can't remember. He's some nuclear uh, nuclear engineer mm -hmm. at this plant in Japan. And um, while this, while he's doing that, the um, uh, what's it called? There's these guys called Monarch mm -hmm. discover this giant skeleton with these two eggs in it, and one of the eggs is hatched and is fucked off, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and the this larval thing tunnels towards um, the. Oh, what's it called? The nuclear plant. Nuclear mm -hmm. plant, sorry. And it destroys it and kills Walter White's wife. No. Yeah. So it's just mm -hmm. him, it's him and his son survive. Mm -hmm. uh, and then it jumps forward another 15 years. As be you do. Because it can. Magic. Because of, mag because of reasons. Mm hmm. Um. And uh, the son, whose name is Ford, is now in the army. 
and the dad has spent the um, entire 15 years reading up on seismic stuff and all this crazy bloody um science yeah science basically for those questions out of here that's the uh, the practice of fact carry on yeah so he's be he's become the, like this crazy um conspiracy theory guy mm -hmm. so basically he's just like this mega brain scientist and he's been tracking down all this information about what this what happened in this nuclear plant Mm -hmm. um, so the son Ford comes back from a 14 month tour mm -hmm. in the army and he's got his own wife and his kid there and his and this son's like daddy are you going to go what away again and he's like no son I'm back for good and then like the phone rings and it's it, the dad has been arrested trying to break into the old nuclear plant and he's like oh well I guess I'm off now see you son and um, the <laughs> he goes to Japan and he gets his dad out of the clink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the dad's like, uh, "I know you think I'm crazy, but it's happening again. All the shit that happened last time, it's happening again." And uh, the boy's like, "Come back, come back to America. Your grandson misses you. Come back." And he's like, oh, right, I'm going to come back. And then he doesn't come back. And the pair of them go and break into the um, nuclear plant. And they find this giant egg thing that's being looked after by these, um, by the, the monarch people. Mm -hmm. And the egg goes crazy and it hatches and Mothra comes out. Mothra! Mothra! And at this point, I'm going, oh, yes, Mothra. It's going to be Godzilla razzling on Mothra. It's going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and then Walter White dies. Of cancer? No, of a crane falling on him. Well, that's a bit anticlimactic. Yeah, it's they build up his character really, really well, and then he just dies. And the son, who's had no character development and can't act for shit, is the uh, is now the main lead. Well, that's kind of crap. Yeah. So the the kid that Ford is like, uh, I've got to get home to my family, all fucking deadpan. Mm. And uh, the Jap there's this Japanese scientist. Who I never really paid attention to what his name was. I just called him Scientist. <laughs> just like Mothra wasn't called Mothra. He was. It was. Uh, he was a Mutada. It was Muto or, or Muto or something like that because he was a mutant or some shit like that. Mm. So it was uh, Muto and the Mothra, and so. This is an incredibly racist conversation. <laughs> it's only going to get worse. <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> So, I hope you like my invention. Because this Mothra thing has flown off, mm -hmm. Godzilla starts to turn up. They can they sit they hear him coming on the on the wait, sonar. Wait, wait, he starts to turn up? What, like like an arm, and then a week or two later, like a leg turns up? Or no, no, no. It's the, they start picking him up on the sonar, and they think, oh God, something's coming. Mm. It must have been Godzilla. Uh, and um, at this point, Ford, the army guy, has been sent to Hawaii. What do you want? He's, they stick him in a helicopter. They send him off to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And um, they say, right, this is how you're going to get home. You're going to get in this. You're going to get in this bloody um, this helicopter. It will take you to Hawaii. And you c and it will give you a uh, you can get on the civilian plane home. Mm -hmm. So you'll be, you'll be fine, old boy. The battle. And he's like, all right, no problem. At which point, he's in the airport and Mothra lands in the airport, and then Godzilla comes out of the ocean and causes a bloody massive flood. What do you want? Um. 
and which leads to one of the most ridiculous moments of the movie. There's a dog tied to a tree. Oh. And you see the wave coming towards the dog. Oh right? no, and not then, a dog. And then in the next scene, the dog it, with its late lead snapped is just ru- is is outrunning all the people. Mm-hmm. It is honestly, if you've ever seen um it's like oh, what's it called? Uh, in Independence Day when the dog managed to do that massive commando leap away from the fireball. Somehow. Yeah, somehow. Because of reasons. Because because magic, that's why. Yeah. Because of reasons. It's, it's honestly, it's like the nostalgia critic, Boomer will survive. Mm-hmm. Um, so the dog survives and then is never heard from again. No. <laughs> yeah. But... Um, yeah, so Godzilla, uh, it turns up, and he's standing there, and you see him for the first time, and it's awesome, and he does the epic roar, mm. because the the CG and the model of um, Godzilla looks really good, mm. uh, and and then Mothra does the its moth roar back, and they start walking, coming towards each other, and you think, right, here it comes, it's it's doom time, and then it just stops. Lame. Yeah, it, it is literally, it's cuts to the kid. Mm-hmm. It, it cuts to, um, oh, what's he called? Uh, the son of um, Ford. Mm-hmm. And he's watching it on TV. Ford's son is watching the, uh, the, the Godzilla fight on TV, and mm-hmm. it doesn't show it. All it shows it of, of there is a, is like three seconds of the footage. That sounds kind of lame. Yeah, and then it cuts to the uh, it cuts to the end of the uh, to the next day. It's daylight, and um, the the fight's over, and it's really disappointing. But then they introduce that there's a second Mothra. Uh-huh. And this one is in Nevada. Ah, uh, well, you know, as it does, you know, or all, all giant world killing monsters always go to America. Yeah, well, this one has been at a nuclear wa- nuclear waste dump. I keep saying nuclear because it's three o'clock in the morning. Mm. Uh, this one is at an atomic waste dump in the in the middle of the Nevada desert. Mm. Uh, and it's there, and it's grown because these uh, Mothras they feed on radiation. So this one bursts out of the ground and then starts heading away from all the radiation that it could eat, but doesn't. Mm. Um, and then the other one's coming towards it, and uh, scientist Sam mm. is like, ah, uh, oh, this is a male and this is a female. They're going to breed and we'll be screwed. We oh. must let Godzilla fight them. Um, and then the Americans come along and be like, nope. We're going to blow them up with nuclear with nuclear bombs. When they feed on radiation, that's that's, that's incredibly right. smart. This is the conversation they had. This is this is the this is the exact conversation. They f- it's like scientists said is like they feed on radiation, and we tried to blow up Godzilla in the fifties. It didn't work. Do you know what the Americans' answer to that is? More nukes. We no close. More bombs. No, we've got bigger bombs now. <laughs> oh, fucking Yanks. I mean, Americans. Yeah. <laughs> Their answer is, we've got bigger bombs now. Nothing can survive the blast. <laughs> so, because Mothra has produces this EMP, they decide to move these three massive great nukes on a train. And guess who's the only guy who knows how to install the EMP-proof clockwork timing mechanism? His son? No, it's the it's it's the Ford guy. Oh. Uh. They've got these three nukes that they've bought specifically for this purpose, and I haven't got anyone to bloody. Um... They should have dozens of technicians for this. Seriously. Yeah. yeah well, they have. Bloody idiots. <laughs> so it's like, okay, you're coming with us on the train. So the train starts moving, and the second the female uh, non-flying arrives in Las Vegas. 
mm -hmm. and trashes all the way through Las Vegas on a, on its way to San, San Francisco. As it does. Yeah. And of all that trashing and awesomeness, you see none of it. None. No, not none. even like glimpses. Not even aftershocks. No, nothing. No. What you what you see is you see like news footage of it coming towards God, coming towards Vegas, ah. which is being ignored by everyone in the um, in the casino. And then you see a foot come through the roof of the casino, and then it cuts to the aftermath. Where it's these um, these firemen busting through this door, uh, and it's just this wreckage of the new Vegas, of the of the Vegas Strip with Elvis playing in it. And it's like, well, that would have been really cool to see, but apparently we're not going to see it. Uh, yeah. It, it it sounds all in all a little bit late. Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's at this point, I'm sitting in the uh, in the cinema thinking, mm -hmm. what the hell is this? As you do. As you do. And, um... Yeah. So, the next part of the story is the incredibly slow train with the three atomic weapons on it gets eaten by the female Mothra. Mm -hmm. With the exception of... Um, oh, what's it called? Um, one of the bombs. One of the bombs even doesn't get eaten. Mm -hmm. The other bomb gets eaten. The other two gets eaten. Uh -huh. But the... Um, yeah, it's just it's like no, this Mothra it, is not going. Mothra is not going to eat this last one, even though it's right there next to you. It sounds incredibly gay. It's, but guess who survives? Who? Ford, that one, that army guy. He's the only survivor, and he's there, and he's covered in ashes when this Chinook comes in to pick up the last bomb. A Chinook. A Chinook. So, um, hurrah for everyone. The, um, the, the American military, they get their bomb back and they put it on a boat and mm -hmm. they're going to lure Mothra and Godzilla and the other Mothra out into the water and detonate it. Mm -hmm. Guess what happens? What? Mothra comes and just steals it because he can fly. Oh, God. <laughs> this film sounds... <sighs> And where, Atrocious. And, and where does he take the atomic weapon? He takes it to the middle of San Francisco. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why? Why would he take it there? Because that's where the that's where the female Mothra is. Why San Francisco? Why not like the middle of the ocean? Why not a mountain range? Because somewhere? that's where the female is, and they build their nest. And clever, clever Americans, they've already started the timer on the bomb. Fucking idiots. So, the next part of the movie is them trying to disarm the bomb. While it's flying? No, well, they have, they, that, did you see the trailer for Godzilla where they're doing the really long parachute drop in and they can see Godzilla in the, in the, uh, in the smoke? Uh-huh. Yeah, that is what this is. That's them dropping in. They're not dropping in to fight Godzilla. They're dropping in to uh, to disarm this bot. Mm. <gasps> so they're leaving Godzilla alone. Well, Godzilla has made landfall at this point. Mm -hmm. Doing less damage to the city than the Americans did. Typical. Because even though they know that... Um, What's it called? Even though they know that Mothra gives out this EMP, uh -huh. they're still flying around in jets. Well, they could be plastic jets. Yeah, but then the jets start falling out the sky oh, and, surprise, land surprise. and landing in the middle of bloody uh, San Francisco. Well that's, well, that's very considerable. And exploding and knocking down buildings. What, entire jets knocking down buildings? Well, they're blowing massive great chunks out of the buildings. That reminds me of something, but I'm not quite sure what. Yeah, no, something. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Kev. obviously, it's... <laughs> the, Ameri the, the military's doing more damage to San Francisco than Godzilla does. 
Um, and all this time, you get you. The, Godzilla is never on the screen for more than two minutes at a time. Wow. Because the entire thing is shot from the perspective of the of the people on the ground. So, well, like Cloverfield, Starley. Uh, I've not seen Cloverfield, but it, yeah, it, but you've seen the adverts. No. Ah, never mind. So what they'll do is they'll they'll see from the perspective of the guy. He'll look up. He'll see a snatch of the monsters fighting, and then he'll look away and run off. Why? Stand there and have a gander. If if you know. If something flies your way, it doesn't matter if you're running, you're probably going to get hurt anyway. Yeah, but no, honestly, right, the... You know, did you see Pacific Rim? I kind of liked it as much as of a bad film it was. It it was an amazing film because it, it did exactly what a monster film is supposed to do, and that's to make... Uh, monsters. Monsters razzling on each other. To, to me, that game was a, a cross between like Japanese films and Gundam Wing. Grabbing max, grabbing monsters, lots of fighting. Well, awesome. dude, that's what the idea was. It was Del Toro's homage to Japanese robot monster films. Ooh. Are you gonna choose a deck? Um, I didn't get an invite. Um, yeah, I didn't. I was, I was waiting to challenge you. There we go. Right, I can challenge you. Yeah. So um, at this point, <laughs> the two Mothras have made their. <laughs> <clears throat> Lovely little home. Did they yeah. have like the, those white little picket fences? They might as well have. Oh. And they've got all these eggs attached to this atomic bomb. That's disgusting. And do it. Um, well, they fertilised eggs. Yes. Oh, that's sexual. The light shall bring victory. And uh, <laughs> to celebrate this, Godzilla manages to sneak up on them. Okay, how how the fuck does something that big sneak up on I anything? Don't, I don't know how he manages it, but he just kind of like he's not there, and then he stands up and he's there. Yeah, see, there's one thing I've got to think. Like I see the video where he jumps in the water. Mm. Now, um, I don't get that. How deep is the Hudson River? Right. First of all, that's the wrong Godzilla. Is it? That's the Matthew Broderick Godzilla. Uh huh. The Matthew Broderick Godzilla is unique in the fact that uh, it's. Um, it shrinks when it goes in more. No, it's got Godzilla in it, for one. Yeah. Right which is something this movie doesn't. Mm hmm. And. Um, yeah, so this is a completely different Godzilla. They just. They just don't show the fucking monster! That sounds horrendously you, gay you, you in want, every you, single way. You want to know what the what the longest shot of the monster is? About three inches. No, justice. the The longest shot of the monster, right? Uh -huh. Is uh oh. <laughs> what did you steal? Uh, I stole your bloodlust and I stole flesh eating. Oh, go good. You didn't get Deathwing then. No, I didn't. Right away. Deathwing. Uh, no, the longest shot of the um, of Godzilla is when he's leaving at the end. That, that is the that's the, it. the longest continuous shot of Godzilla, right? Uh -huh. Interrupted is when he's fucking off back into the water, and everyone's cheering and clapping for Godzilla. That sounds horrendously gay. It's just it's. <laughs> It's like, oh my god. And <laughs> but, so, and, and, and that, that's it, that's it. Like, all in all, how long is Godzilla on screen for, do you reckon? What, in total for the two hour movie? Yes. About 15 minutes. Wow. And Mothra? Oh, is Mothra's in it a fair amount more? But it's the film is called Godzilla, not not Mothra. Yeah, you'd think that uh, the film should really be called um, Army Guy Falls Down. The elements will destroy you. The game that film sounds the lamest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, well, it's just it's right honestly away. it's. I was sitting in the uh, in the cinema yelling at the screen. Mm, 
constantly. Because it, it, it was boring. I can imagine why. Um, I shouldn't have played that card. I honestly, I Godzilla film. I, I, I have never thought that a Godzilla movie would be boring, but this movie was boring. Did you punch the ticket? Did you punch the man who makes the tickets on the way out for making no, you have to pay for such an atrocious film? I was on. I honestly, I was really, really tempted to um, ask for my money back because of false advertising. <laughs> Well, if they call the film Godzilla, then Godzilla should be in it. Yeah. It just sounds like an atrocious film. It really does. It fucking is. Right away. Wait, is it set up for another film, maybe? No. Or, uh, that that's it. It's just that that's it. That's the entire film. No more. No more. Press no next seven. film. Nothing. Oh, why? Yes. Uh, so anyway, so. After they copy the Broderick Godzilla and have the army guy um, blow up all the eggs, uh -huh. they've got um, Mothra. The two Mothras were stomping all over Godzilla. As uh, they do. As they do. Everyone's all happy because they because Godzilla's getting the shit kicked out of him. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Uh, what's it called? <laughs> Godzilla's down, and then the fucking Ford the army guy blows up the eggs, mm -hmm. and causing female Mothra to ignore Godzilla, leading to the only good part of the movie. Mm -hmm. Godzilla does the electric fire thing. He finally does the actual electric fire. Yes. Oh my god, yes. He actually does the electric fire. Mm. And um, why did you steal my unit? So I could get the. It's the North Side cleric. When you heal anything, any ah. minion, you get a card. Okay. Because I'm smart like that. Right away. Whoa. So he actually does. Is it actual electric fire or just red stuff? No, it's it's the electric fire that that he did in the old that he did in the old Japanese movies. Awesome! And it's the only awesome bit in the movie, because it because you get to see the, the charge building up along his spines, mm. and he roars and it's like whoosh, and it's awesome, mm. and does fuck all damage to Mothra. <laughs> fuck all damage at all. That probably sounds like one of the worst films you, I could ever be paid to go to. Yeah. It's just... It's, it was... It's a horrible, horrible abomination. So if someone would walk up to me and give me a free DVD copy of this film with no strings attached, what do I do with it? Uh... Do I A, punch them in the face and scream in the fucking me such a bad film, or thank them? I would thank them and then take it down cash converters. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't take it down ca cash converters. I'd make more money throwing it into a lake, probably. Throwing it into a lake? Yeah, well, cash converters gives you bollocks all for stuff like that. Mm. It, it really gives you naff all. Four health to all. Oh, Jesus Christ. You got some pretty good... You still play this game, don't you? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I do. I, I, <clears throat> as it as it so obviously shows. Right. So <laughs> after the um, what's it called? The distraction of uh, blowing up the eggs uh -huh. and the um, the blue awesome fire. Mm -hmm. Godzilla starts to get the um, starts to get his. Uh, is Mojo back, as it were? He starts making love to the female Mothra left. No, he um, he starts laying the smack down and he kills the male Mothra. As you do. Right he kills it by whacking it into the building with his tail. Oh. Bit of a letdown, but okay. Sure. Job done. 
And um, at that point, he collapses. Mm -hmm. He just goes, Urgh! and a building partially falls on him, and he's down. And then army guy who falls down is is on a boat. He's got he's got to the boat, and he's trying to sail the um, the nuke away from the city. Mm -hmm. Because you know reasons. Magic. Yeah. Say goodbye to your cards. Ha ha ha. Yeah, well, give me a second. Ooh, that was a nice little card. Yeah. Uh... Oh, if you're sure. That's the thing when I've got too many cards. Yeah, they keep they keep blowing up. I'm, I'm glad I got rid of that other dude because he's just kept on filling the hand up too quick. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, he's kind of got blood loss because he's been th knocked down so many fucking times. Uh huh. And um, the boat starts to go out into the um, bay. Mm -hmm. And Mothra, the female Mothra, is kind of looking down over his screwed up corpse. And he's pull, he pulls his 9mm on Mothra. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, I know you have a 9 I have a 9mm, Mothra. Y'all fucked now. Did he pull it sideways? That's what we have to know. No, he doesn't. Oh, that's, uh, that, that's why it didn't work then. didn't put it sideways. <laughs> he does indeed not put... He does not turn the gun sideways. It, did, is, not, it is not a kill shot. Did he, did he bust a cap in his ass? No, he does not. Oh, well, that's a bit of a letdown. So, because uh, Godzilla manages to ninja sneak up on them again. Oh really? Uh, it's pretty, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of points in his uh, sneak attack and stuff. I see. Yeah, Godzilla manages to fucking full on rogue backstab. That's how. That is literally how he kills Mothra. Is he backstabs it? Godzilla s just appears behind Mothra, gets him in and gets him in a blooming chokehold, mm -hmm. pulls its mouth apart, and breathes fire down its neck. That sounds incredibly lame on on every... And then, and, and then its head falls off. Oh. Uh, uh. Mothra's head falls off. And then Godzilla collapses again and everyone thinks he's dead. That's a bit lame. <laughs> so, so, so this film is in every single way atrocious and so it's not be watched. I... Jesus, how fucking healthy is that light well? It... Wait, wait, wait. Let me live one more round. There's one card I want to show you. And it's not Deathwing. I promise you it's not Deathwing. No, you can get me those to one health, but... No! No! no. Oh, wait, will I live? Ow. <laughs> oh god damn it this is this is this is this is unlucky it's not deathwing don't worry thank god but what it is is boom ta da many whelps yeah oh wait i'm still going to die aren't i ah unfortunately i'm not going to live because i've got nothing with taunt God damn it, I've got bloodlust as well. I could have killed you, fool. I could have killed you. Yeah, well, I was... I, have, I'm, I was waiting for my inner fire. Because inner fire it turns the, it makes the attack and the uh, well, defence the same. You can wait for inner fire if you want. I've got no problem with that. Yeah, we could just do that. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, so, and then he gets back. To, then he gets back to his kid, and that's the, and that's the end. God, Godzilla, everyone thinks he's dead, but then he wakes up, and uh, there's like news footage of him walking back into the city. Sorry, into uh. the uh, into the ocean, and the big banner underneath: 
King of Monsters saves our city. What they they made banners for him? No, the, there was a bat the the news footage. Uh huh. There's like the headline is uh, Godzilla King of Monsters saves our city question mark. Say so, what? Does Godzilla like bite things and eat people and stuff like that and no. eat me? So what does he do? Uh, he roars a lot. Shall bring victory. Duh. And um, uh, he gets shot at. Surprise, surprise. By the military who miss most of their shots and hit the hit the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh my god. How could you miss something that big? Like how? Like it, I thought it would be physically impossible. Yeah, well, they manage it. Somehow. Which is quite silly, but they, they miss. Go on. I just, I, I, I just don't get how. I've seen how big he. I've not seen the film, but I've seen how big he is in the adverts. How can you miss him? Is uh, because of reasons. Ah, uh, fuck logic, fuck logic, and everything to do with logic, and it's just no, yeah. no. Honestly, it's it's it was almost as bad as bloody. Oh, what's it called? When Dragon, I went... Dragon Ball's Evolution. I didn't mind that movie. Get out of the Skype call. Get out of the Skype call now. No one. No, you bastard. No one likes that movie. No one is allowed to you, like you that. You want to know that I quite like that movie. I don't love you anymore. <laughs> I used to love you, and, and then I stopped. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? Wait. What? Wait, how do I concede? <laughs> <laughs> how do I concede? You want to know how you concede? You watch Godzilla. That is how you concede. <laughs> I it's just no, just I, I I I I don't I wouldn't even download it by the sounds of it. I, I just wouldn't. It's not worth it at all. <laughs> it really isn't. I was really looking forward to watching it as well. I really was. Like I wanted to watch it so bad. You're just gonna summon everything and then squash me on you. Thought so. <laughs> the the twenty twenty the twenty twenty two like, like, looking like well five five losses in a row I think that's me done for the night and yeah that, and it's, oh, Godzilla don't watch it please please for the love of God don't watch it it's the only time I've ever seen a Godzilla movie without fucking Godzilla in it I don't watch Dragon Ball Z Evolution either unless it, it's a guilty pleasure don't do it at all.